Hi, I want to talk about uh, leaky gut syndrome. I, uh, my name's Dulcie Hill, by the way. Uh, I recently found a st published study in Pios One. It's a publication uh, that announced that uh, researchers at Lund University in Sweden had shown a connection between this leaky gut syndrome um, and MS. And leaky gut syndrome is uh, basically when your intestines don't hold uh, the nutrients from the food they need to get in order to support your immune system. Uh, one of the reasons why we kill the, it's killing the friendly bacteria in our bodies is because a lot of the foods we eat, chicken and, and cows and pigs, they, they've been injected with antibiotics to prevent them from carrying uh, um, parasites. Uh, even the chicken eggs, they're, they're eradicated. You know, it's, plus we eat pesticides uh, in a lot of our foods uh, and they kill bacteria in our bodies. Uh, even herbicides, they, there's uh, antibiotics that kill uh, funguses or nothing, well, antibiotics don't. Anyway, um, there's these, these poisons that kill bacteria on plants so that uh, the plants can be more productive. Well, when we eat these things, uh, they do a job on our intestines. They kill a lot of the friendly bacteria. And you'll know this because they, they're finding that people without uh, the probiotics in their stomach uh, tend to have more of an upset stomach. There's more of us on, on uh, um, Prilosec and, and um, Zantac than ever been before. And uh, part of the, the cure, or not the cure, so part of controlling it is by increasing your intake of probiotics. Uh, there are three ways that are the easiest. Um, I would stay away from the, the pill, the probiotics in the pill, and turn to a product called Kefir, that's K-E-F-I-R, and that has I believe it's 10 different types, strains of uh, probacteria, uh, as well as the acidophilus everyone knows about, but there's, there's nine others. And uh, you drink that a couple times a day, it comes in peach and, and blueberry and, and strawberry and vanilla, it comes in all sorts of flavors. And you do that a couple times a day and you're introducing good bacteria. Uh, the second uh, one is there's a mushroom that you make your own probiotics, and it is called um, kombucha, kombucha tea. And if you Google K-U-M-B-C-H-U-M, if you Google that, you can get one of those on Amazon sent to you along with the directions, and you brew your own kombucha fermented kombucha tea and that has uh, just that's supposed to be the the best one although I prefer the uh, keeper um, Greek yogurt also has a lot of probiotics a lot more than just acidophilus um, and those things do help to make your body feel better um, you'll find by introducing these friendly bacteria uh, in your body you're not as hungry and and your stomach's not upset. Uh, it's it's a good thing to uh, to keep up with. Um, a lot of if you Google fermented foods like sauerkraut, or you can ferment your own uh, uh, different types of like uh, spinach or, or these leafy green things, and it. But that kind of just if you look at it online, it'll tell you how to do it. But that kind of doesn't sound appetizing to me. Best way is uh, either the kefir or the kombucha. I do them both, um, and I'm feeling a heck of a lot better. I get up in the middle of the night to have a little Greek yogurt if my stomach's upset because of these medications. Anyway, that's what I have to say. I've read a lot more studies that I'll be publishing in the next couple days, um, and suggestions as far as how to treat symptoms. Well, until then, uh, um, 
please uh, sign up to uh, follow me and uh, keep coming back and God bless all of you. Thank you.